The 540 bounty that you can get from Spider this week is the Arcadian Cord, and you can find this adventure over on Nessus. Now for me this time around, it is located in Artifact's Edge, but I've also seen this in other places. I know it can be down here in Glade of Echoes, and also over here in the Tangle, so let me know where the adventure is for you. In order to do this, you do need to buy this bounty directly from Spider, and it will cost you five Ghost Fragments, so make sure you, before coming here, you do buy this bounty right from him. If you're running low on Ghost Fragments, you can always do some patrols and public events over in Tangled Shore, and those will give you enough Ghost Fragments to buy this bounty. Once you have the bounty, make your way to Nessus and find out where the new adventure is for you. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing started, but before I run inside, though, let's take a look at my loadout. I am using my Titan, and I am also on the Solar subclass. Beyond that, for my weapon loadout, I'm using Chattering Bone. This is a raid pulse rifle. I'm using Loaded Question. This is the pinnacle reward for the Vanguard, so you may have already gotten this thing done. And I'm using Thunderlord. So these are the weapons I'm using. Ideally, you do something a bit more powerful, like either Sleeper, Aikilos, things like that. But just for the sake of keeping things a bit more simple, I'm going to use weapons that I think most people would have. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. Now this Lost Sector I'm sure many of you are familiar with since it's so close to the spawn point. And normally there's a bunch of Vex guys in here. Now this time around I believe we will also have Vex enemies. So let's just run inside and see exactly what we have in store for us. I've never done the Arcadian Cord in this Lost Sector. Well here's our buddy, he's getting beat down a little bit. Of course that is the normal wanted enemy who's always here. What I'm curious of is who the Vex are fighting. They're fighting the Cabal. Makes sense. They don't particularly like each other. So just like always, I do recommend taking out all these enemies here. This will make things a lot more simple when you're going after the real wanted enemy. Loaded Question is an awesome weapon to use, especially when you have Reservoir Burst activated. It just does so much damage with that Firefly Explosion. So if you haven't gotten this, like I said, you can get this by doing the Pinnacle Reward for the Vanguard. So next time you see your boy Z, make sure you grab that. It does take a while to get this. I believe it's 40 strikes maybe. It's a lot of strikes you have to do, but it's a neat weapon, and it's one that I've kind of used when I'm doing just strikes and things like that, but I figured I'd use it this time for this Lost Sector. Alright, so there's our buddy, the Arcadian Cord. You can see him up there, he's just hanging out. But let's go ahead and take out all of his friends first though. There's going to be a lot of enemies that spawn in here, so there's only so much you can do when it comes to clearing out the area. Now, this law sector is a bit more wide open, so I'm curious of how this is going to play out. Once I take these guys down, I'll show you the intended mechanic for this wanted bounty. And you can probably guess it by seeing the enemy. He has an oracle above his head, but let's go ahead and take these out. Also, probably a good idea to take out these exploding cubes, I guess you can call them. Because last thing we want to do is have one of those blow up and ruin our day. So now that we took out all the enemies, here's our buddy, Arcadian Cord. And he has this oracle type thing above his head. You can shoot that and that will break it. That will bring down his shield. So I want to use Thunderlord right away. Now the thing is you can't burn this guy down. Maybe you can burn him down, I don't know. But you can't really burn him down fast enough to do that in one phase. You're going to have to take out more enemies again and find the anomaly. There's one right there. There's one above over here. I believe there's three of them this time around, each each time you do a phase. One to start out with, three more to go. But let's take out all of his friends first. We want to have each damage phase be pretty clean if we can. This is, a, is actually a nice law sector to do this in because you do have a lot of space to kind of maneuver around a bit. But you also have some natural cover here too, which is good. Alright, so I see one and two. Let's take this one out.
I'm saving my super in case things get a little bit more hectic. Because each wave there's going to be more and more ads that spawn in. So there must be one more oracle here somewhere. Oh wait, that was. There's only two that time. So this time around I guess there's going to be three. So note to self. There's going to be three this time. Or at least there was in the other Lost Sector. I could just be mistaken. Maybe it's different for each Lost Sector. Thunderlord does major work here, as always. Take out these oracles again. There's one. There's two over there. Maybe there's only two on this one. Nah, he does still have his shield left. That's alright. We gotta find one more oracle. No point in rushing here. We want to take down these ads if we can. And there is our last oracle. It's up there in the center. So just going to take these guys out quick. Alright. Now that his last oracle is down, his shield is down. And now it's probably a good time to use your super. Of course, that is if he doesn't teleport. Alright, so he is down for the count. The bounty is complete. There are still some enemies here. We'll just try to mop them up really quick. We'll make our way over to the cache. You don't really need to collect this, but if you need extra glimmer, you could always use some more glimmer. So let's grab it really quick, and then I'll retreat to a relatively safe spot and I'll use the bounty or I'll turn the bounty in again this is a great way of getting Lord of Wolves so if you haven't gotten that yet always make sure you're doing all the spider bounties but always make sure you're doing this one because I think the drop rate is a bit higher for this bounty in particular so we'll go to my pursuits find the bounty itself turn it in and thin line so not exactly the best weapon to get but it is 650 and I can always bump up my loaded question. Also got some engrams there for the for the trouble. So guys, let me know, number one, where the bounty was for you. For me, it was over here in Artifact's Edge. Number two, let me know if this was helpful. I'm going to keep making these as long as there's some people that, that find these helpful. Number three, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll catch up soon.